More than 200 rivers bring water into the Baltic, but there is only one outlet to the ocean, a series of narrow straits near Denmark and Sweden that connects the Baltic to the North Sea. Whatever flows in takes 25 years to flow out. This slow exchange of water makes the Baltic Basin extremely vulnerable to any kind of pollution. The Baltic Sea in some ways is a microcosm of the problems that face the world's ocean. It is a piece of water surrounded by people and because of that it responds to the pulse of human activity, both the things we take out and the things we put in. You know, they catch up to one million tons of codfish. And then it's going down, going down, going down. And when it's reached around 150,000 tons, and it's never been re restored. Even fishery is stopped, the cod is not coming back. I think the answer is that we're also destroying their habitat. We are destroying the ecosystem in which little cod hide so that they can avoid predators and they can find food. And by doing so, we're losing cod. There's an enormous difference among ways we fish. Some produce very little collateral damage, and some, like bottom trolling and uh, drift netting, are extremely problematic. A bottom trawler is a boat that pulls a net along the seafloor, and in doing so, it has three environmental effects. It catches the organisms it's supposed to catch, it catches other organisms of bycatch, and it disturbs the life on the seafloor. Here is a photograph I took showing the organisms that are caught in a trawl net. And what you may notice is that about 95% of the organisms by weight were not shrimp. The shrimpers call this trawl trash. I call it biodiversity. In seven short days, members of the symposium discussed the issues of the environment in a broad variety of formal panel discussions, group meetings, and one-on-one -on -one conversations. They debated wide-ranging issues like sustainable development, how to attract religions to the environmental movement, how best to protect the environment without further harming the world's poor, and what specifically should be done to repair the devastation of the Baltic Sea. Environmental ethics became a central part of every discussion. Prophet Muhammad says, Beware of earth, for she is your mother. No one does good or evil on her without her eventually telling of it. In other words, nothing can be concealed forever. Sooner or later, the people on this earth will appreciate us or curse us for what we have done because our mother earth will either flourish or suffer from our deeds. This symposium seems to bring something new, or rather someone new. God is entering the arena.